On Friday, Thailand, the world's biggest exporter of seahorses, is going to announce the end of those exports until such time as it can find a way to ensure they don't damage wild populations. And what's exciting is we helped to create that decision, but we're also going to be part of the solution so that we re reopen trade in a sustainable way. The export of seahorses totals tens of millions of animals a year from something like 80 countries. It varies, of course, year to year and um, has imposed huge pressures on the seahorses. Seahorses are used globally for traditional medicine, particularly traditional Chinese medicine. That's by far and away the dominant use. They're also used, of course, for ornamental display in home and public aquariums. And they're used for um, curios and souvenirs. Trade is sufficient to threaten many populations quite seriously with notable declines, and it must be brought under control, which is, of course, why CITES is engaged. We are um, really instrumental in this first ever decision to end the export of a marine fish that Thailand has made. And we're hoping that this will provide another platform for us to move forward with innovative, exciting ideas um, to, and a receptive audience because change has to be made.